Contested. Somebody taking the large building. Taste is going to take the big barn. It actually looks like they might have a pretty decent split directly on top of him, but no instantly gets Bean from the top of the black top. And he's down yep. from a pistol. And that's his head split as well. Let's see exactly which duo this is. Ah, oh, it's going to be anonymous, so we don't know. Rather than disengage, but it's not going to be the case. Oh my goodness, though, the beam out of the green burst they are is ridiculous. And look how far he is. That's the cue for Kiryachi to say, no, 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 you are not escaping me after what I just did to you. Right off the back, he goes over top and to the backside. Letwick on the front. He takes the wall and he's in a big two shots, but still the tag is not connecting. But Letwick is there to back him up and instantly another win for Kiryachi and Letwick over Wolfies and Lechi. They got to leave, man. They're, they they got to leave and find somewhere else. These big spots are just not working out at all. Let us see that clip, Fun, when you get a chance of how Kiryachi and Letwick fell in the last game. But off to a good start, this one. And they also placed 34th, which was into the end game. This is from last game. This is a replay here. He picked him up threw him out and then he fell into the ground and was able oh to get thrown God. through the builds. So unfortunate. We'll see that effect right now. I'm not saying they're looking kind of clueless, but when you're kind of kept in your spawn for just a little bit, have a fight, get tags, get the momentum of getting eliminations, everything else in the game afterwards seems a little bit easier. The plan's there, okay, we have to catch up the zone, we have to find a base. When you're free, when you're out of your drop spot and you're finally up in these little mountains on the map near Weeping Woods. And right now, although Batterman and Fnex had a good start off with a free elimination, they are hurting. No shields left. Not sure what their damage tags are, but maybe that was because of Storm Surge. Because I've never seen someone leave Orchard with nothing. Breaks in the base. Another shot through, yes. It's open, it's wide. He's gonna go all the way in. This is it, a big pump and possibly a finish. This is all open. Oh my goodness, this duo is gonna be caught unawares. Save it. The king of big pumps, it's 110. Yes, Whoa. right onto Magnus. And instantly that player gets surged down, completely eliminated. He doesn't even need to worry about anything else. And he now just gets out, still 30 below though. And with the surge, he does have floppers. He does have minis, he still can play this. And we're already down to 59 from about 64 just a second ago. Only 17 below, but still getting popped. He's going to try to outheal this now and possibly sneak back through to find extra I mean, loot. The stairs there also, a nice peak potential. You say that he's playing solo, but the server is definitely on his side there. That was a nice one-two combination. Not even sure what that duel was doing, knowing they had to get Surge still playing secluded. Now slightly above, but how long will that last? We had the conversation yesterday about when you're down below Storm Surge, is it better to try to heal it out or just keep going for fights? Because once that moving zone comes in, we're back at the same stage with even lesser heals. There it is. You're right about that. But I think right now, in my mind, I want to go right back towards that bridge. I want to go right back onto somebody I know for sure is Sola and possibly even fell to surge in his box by himself especially after he lost his duo partner instantly as that surge activated that was crazy that was something out of a anime or something from saving powered it up with the punch <laughs> had the power of storm surge on his side it was minzo on the other side yes he's still solo he is still alive though and man that loadout is looking weak minus that pump shotgun oof only one flopper Literally small fry in the inventory. When do you see that? I mean, now his direction's clear. There's no heal game to be played. There's no possible way for these guys to have anything else but go into the box. So Menzo knows that. Solo player. Harpoon, though, if he ends up surviving, he can definitely somehow win out the game. That is the one item that basically adds so much reach to your inventory. And will he take the zip line? Yes, he will. To bounce right off, shorten his launch pad. Nice mechanics. Good decision making and now he's going to be looking back off of his tarp that he built completely open if anyone wants to take it it's going to be a pitfall it's going to be a trap wonder if there's anybody else right now minzo clearly clutching up and we've seen them play well time and time again 
bit of a lag on this perspective because it is the death cam. It looks very, very rough right now. To be in this lobby, especially now that it goes up the hill too, and the danger. Yes, he has a flopper. Yes, he has some small fry, but that's not really going to do much at all. I don't know if you've played Donnie SC Zone Wars, but those small fries don't keep you in for that long. <laughs> I think he's possibly done for. He got really far away and possibility for an impact. He does get in. But full zone, oh my goodness. It's saving. Where? No, that was the death cam. Okay, but still, he's still got another, at least refresh. And he's still in the game. And he's got a harpoon as well, so his game continues. He's going to be popping up that heal just for a second. But he can have a say on a lot of things with 1,500 max all the way up in that seventh zone, moving over to eight. It's finally starting to move. The build's coming in minimal, nice and economic, and moving in with metal, making sure that he's not leaving any type of risk behind. Has to try to block off the back, though. This is a very open tarp. Finally getting hit. He's in his box, but only halfway through the zone. 22 people left. 20 seconds left for this zone to close in. He does drop down a good call from his teammate, and he only... Takes 40 damage with what could have been way, way more. Into the bush he goes. And he builds it out. He still has the materials to play this safely. Oh, an RPG from above, but it misses. A harpoon combo could have made that terrible. Who is up on height right now is the question. A big pot getting popped, and he's still getting onto the side of zone. This is risky because he could get the target. Uh, basically everybody in the lobby, but it's dwindling down. Finally, they do start spraying a player in the side. Oh my, oh my god, god. Saved! Just destroyed the player right in front of him. Tried to take his wall, but it doesn't matter. Low ping or not. This man is nasty, and he's been hitting shots left and right since yesterday. You can see his reactions to everything around him, his decision making. The speed at which he switches box to box. That's another floppers. big elimination into the box. Two more floppers into his inventory. And here's another fight he has to take, but can kind of avoid. And he does, gets ramped over, backs up into his box, has one more flopper to use. He's playing that placement. There's a person from the back, gets the tag and the combination. Still moving over on low ground, trying to get into that box. Has so many more materials, but Scully hasn't calmed it yet. No, he realizes, gets big tagged, moves into zone, wow. sidesteps. It's not possible. But the placement, it's there, and save it comes big. Yes, he does, but another team up on height. This is the team with the RPG. They have the drum gun, too. They placed 21st, but this time they're on height, and this time they're looking for the big win to claw themselves back up to the top. And where we expect them, Tucson Cavado, Mythic drum gun in hand, what can they do? This is the team with the harpoon and the RPG that pressured save it for a brief moment. How does this finish out? I mean, the only two things that can happen right now is a rogue RPG coming all the way from the top. There's so much loot up oh my left. Gosh. And oh my god, he gets the grappler. Now Agency and Shark are combined, and there's no possible way. A lot of the counterplay to kind of take off of height is not there. And they have all the options, all the answers. Seven more harpoon charges still left as well. And he gets another one dragged all the way up top. They're getting knocked down, but these mats are staying refreshed, refreshed, and refreshed. Finally, Tus falls down. Cavado follows suit. And now they're looking for the end of the game. Oh no, Cavado goes down. Now it's going to be a solo play by Tus. He has the items in his inventory though. It's going to be a 1v1v1, possibly all solos. One person trying to take height. He doesn't have that many mats left. This could be disaster. Gets that refresh off the siphon, but no materials. Now finally, a two-way fight, a three-way actually, and it's all solos. The first crack comes in, dropping down. The pump connects. Now no mats, has the harpoon, no. the grappler misses, it's the wrong keybind, but the accuracy's there, it doesn't matter, or does it, he falls down again, the grappler up top, he misses, he's in the zone, and oh my god, the throw possibly, Toos, the win not there, the blunder. It's Siberia Jake, who ended up in this last 1v1, more small fries again, people scrounging for as much shambles loot as they can. Regardless, it was Siberia Jake, Toos, and who's the last player down on low ground? I think Sweeze from MCES. This is it. He used the harpoon by accident at first, then missed the second grappler, finally connected, but by that time, Siberia Jake already knew what was going on, and it's a nine elimination win for these two. In first place, it's going to be Siberia Jake and Putro, 22nd or 22 points, one win, and off that first game, they just had three points, I believe. 
got hit up and down in the mid game. Unfortunate fight, but they brought it straight back. Aqua and Stompy, I believe, got five more points in that game. Not sure exactly.